Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And today, uh, this is the one that I pre-ordered a long time ago and I've been waiting to get it in. And I'm gonna be honest, I, I did open the box and uh, looked it over real quick, flipped it about four times while I was waiting for my daughter's doctor's appointment. So this is somewhat of a first impression. I didn't really get a chance to look over it but this is the Sharp by Design Void. Um, anybody who knows Brian Nadeau of Sharp by Design, he makes some high quality um, CNC custom knives. And he's recently partnered up with Riot to make, I guess, you know, what you'd call, I guess, his mid tech uh, knives for him. And <clears throat> this one kind of called my name. So let's check it out. Got a little sleeve here with a little foam and it's got a little pocket. Oh. I gotta look over this real good because check it out. Riot usually has pretty good quality. Let's see. So they had several different variations. I got the one with the uh, green micro, uh, green canvas micarta inlay. Looks like it's a polished uh, micarta right there. And they also have one that kind of says why he called it the void. He has one that has a hole right here. I don't know if it's as big as this inlay, but it's a hole like a window through there. Um, and the uh, inlay is carried over to the other side. Let's take a look at that carbon fiber. You don't feel any transitions. If I close my eyes, which I'm doing right now, I don't feel any high spots. No crazy gaps. No, my card is a hard, hard material to machine. From the camera, you might have a little chip right there, but I'm not stressing. What I see looks good. He's got that Brian Doe signature dimpled pivot where it kind of like comes up right here. And you got the holes. On this side, you have the Torx fastener T8 throughout. Like how you went with a pan head here, flat, and a pan head here. Inlay looks good on this side. Noticing two things already off the back. Pretty strong retention. Can't touch the blade in the closed position. It looks like it, but you're not, you can't get that close. <clears throat> wow, great blade to handle ratio. Yeah, you're not gonna touch that sitting in the pocket like that because you could be coming on this side of the knife and I, I can't touch it just by normally doing it because the backspacer comes up high enough. But if I push it, you know, if I push the fat of my finger in it, which is ridiculous. Centering, looks like it's off to the right a little bit. I'll probably make an adjustment on that. Let's see how it flips. Yeah. Okay, see how it's body flex. Kind of weak there. Oh, what was that? Woo, okay, something just happened. Let's see, soft, normal close and a soft detent. Okay, what is going on here? Listen to this. You heard that click, guess, I'm hoping it's just a blade alignment. Maybe if I push, get the blade pushed back over this way, maybe it seems like the detent ball is not sitting, it's not falling into the hole all the way, because watch, this is it sitting in the hole. Nice snappy action, and just close it up. And somewhat of weaker action. Now, I, I don't really mind that, because my fingers 
kind of hurt. So I can still spotty flick it and I can slow roll it. Let's see if it's, I can do that. Let's press that in, listen. Got a little click in there. Let's, yeah, that, that's a nice, I, I like that though. I like the, I like the action when you press it in there. Maybe whenever I take this guy apart, maybe it might it might have like a burr or something around that hole, or it could be the alignment, why the centering's off like that. Uh, we will see. Let's check out the, let's see. Blade stock's 0.153. So hard to display on camera. Oh, 19, 20 thousandths in that area. Let's check up here. 20 thousandths right there. So about 20 thousandths, not bad at all uh, for a decently stocky blade stock. You got a uh, belt satin that goes vertical on the primary and the top sweat right here. Then you have a horizontal uh, satin on the flats. There's Brian Doe's maker mark right there. Sterile on this side, nice and clean. I love the look of that. So far, the ergos feel pretty good. It's got that nice little slant down here. And then the way it bulbs up right there, so I get a good purchase on there. Um, yeah, you got contoured scales. <clears throat> now, something I've noticed could just be me, but to me, the clip looks kind of afterthought. Uh, the finish, I would have much rather see the finish of the clip be the same as blasted finish as the frame. Um, I guess... He was going for the same finish as the flats. I'm not too sure, but sorry about that. My dog's my dog's a complete idiot sometimes. Um, let me know what y'all think. Let's see how that clip works. It looks, it seems like it might be tight. Let's see. It doesn't have much ramp either. Yeah, it's colliding with uh, the jeans. These are, I mean, they're not overly thick. They just have a seam right there, so they're a little thicker than average. Let's see if I can lift it up. It slides in there nice, and it's, it's pretty deep. Once I get past that ramp, uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that clip. You just don't have a whole bunch of, you can see, you don't have a whole bunch of room underneath there. I wear a lot of lightweight shorts that are very thin, so it's probably gonna be perfect for that. Um, so far, I, I like, like I said, I like the aesthetics. Um, Brian knocked it out of the park on the, on this. Uh, the, the things that I'm noticing for the most part, like the detent, how I can change the detent by pressing it in. Um, that's, you know, that's manufacturing. So that's more on Riot's side. Uh, same goes with the centering. The centering that's more on Riots. I know they're probably trying to get these out for them, so I'm not, you know, I don't stress out that much. Now, this is definitely not a cheap knife by any means. 300, I think it's like 330 or something like that, depending on which <clears throat> which variation you get. They have one with carbon fiber, and they had different anno, and then they had the the open hole right here. Uh, I want to say Blade HQ, last I checked, had some um, some of these for pre-order. sure those will go pretty quick once people start getting reviews of them out. Um, if you have the Void, let me know if you're, you noticed that. Um, I'm, sure, I'm sure people will start posting their videos up as soon as they get these in. Like I said, I just got in from the doctor with my daughter, so... Haven't got to watch anything. I'm glad I didn't though, because I want to see, you know, if if any of the things I'm noticing, uh, you know, is it just my knife? Could be just my knife. Um, like I said, I'm hoping whenever I fix this centering, it'll cock that blade a little bit that way, 
and it might cause this to fall into place. You hear that little click? Let's see, without the little click. Yeah, see, it's hard for me to flip left-handed with the light switch unless I push that thing in there. Nope, I'm not pushing it in there. There you go. See, take like a soft flip, let's see. Oh, looks like it might have fixed itself. Unless I'm not pushing on it. Yeah, shoot. I mean, even when it's not pushed all the way in, I can light switch it. I mean, push button it and make it good. I love the, I love the feeling in hand. Perfect size. Let me get some size comparisons real quick. I'll try to do a follow-up. Uh, video on this let you know how it holds up but I might not because I know not a lot of people like seeing the more expensive knives and um, they may not be available once <laughs> once he sells out that's one thing about Brian he does a run of a certain model and once they sell out they sell out so it's cool for the collected purpose I mean if I decide to keep this guy, it'll be a user. Um, and I'm sure it'll be a great one, too. So there you go. It's about the same size as a Parrot 3. As far as overall length, you get you get about the same. You get the same handle length up into this first chawl right here. <coughs> that would choke up. Sorry about that, peeps. My dog is just being absolutely ridiculous. We'll get a quick weight on it because that's another thing. It feels pretty light in hand. And then I'll let y'all go before my dog starts acting a fool. Let's see. 3.46 ounces. So that's that's really nice. Let's say that. Let's see. 3.46 ounces. Let's get a full length on this bad boy. Got a... Oh. Got a blade length of three and a quarter, so almost that ounce and inch that some of these crazies like. I'm just kidding. If you like it, that's your prerogative. And a little over a seven and a quarter, so a nice uh, medium size EDC. Perfect in my size range. Um, got two more real quick, just because they're sitting here. You got the Hogue Deca. These two are pretty much identical as well. As you can see, they're pretty darn close. And let's see the Kershaw Atmos, just because they were sitting on the table. And Atmos is pretty a good bit smaller. Love that, that full length belly you get in the void. Uh, I'm a belly guy. Guess because I have a belly. I like belly. <laughs> so there you go. One last look at this beauty. Love that. Love that uh, micarta. Now, being that it's polished, you won't get that that grippiness like like you do on like this, where you can hear it. Which I mean, this one is not as grippy anymore because uh, it's kind of smoothed out from handling it, but. It's not, well, here's another example. It's not like this where it's, uh, you know, you can kind of start feeling the fabric and it gets real tactile. It's polished. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you would like to see my follow-up video on this, let me know in the comments because if I get enough, you know, enough people saying they want to see it, then I, I may do it. Uh, but it's kind of I got a lot of videos to catch up on and it's kind of hard to justify doing a 15 20 minute video on every little detail that I've noticed um, if nobody's gonna watch it I may do uh, it, it unless y'all want to see an update on the problems that I've you know I guess you'd call them problems that I've noticed the detent and uh, the centering I want to see how those are. I'm sure I might update that on my Instagram, but if y'all would like to see it here, just let me know. 
If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up so I know y'all enjoying the content. If you like my videos, you're not already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any content. And I give I do giveaways here and there when I can. Got one probably coming up pretty soon. And I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.